Hi, question number 10. The polynomial Pz is defined by Pz is equal to z, z to the cube plus mz square plus 24z plus 32, where m is a constant. It is given that z plus 2 is a factor of Pz. Find the value of m for the first part. Okay, for the first part, now we have this equation and you have got the uh, z plus 2 is a factor of pz. That means that z is going to be equal to minus 2. Therefore, we're going to substitute minus 2 into the equation. Because it is a factor, therefore pz is going to be equal to 0. The remainder will be 0. So what we're going to do is substitute minus 2 in here. So I've got minus 2 to the cube plus m times minus 2 to the square plus 24 times minus 2 plus 32 and all of that's going to give us a 0. Now this is minus 8, okay I got minus 8 um, plus 4m minus 48 uh, plus 32 is equal to 0 and uh, what is minus 8 minus 48 and uh, plus 32 so let's do it here alright I got um, minus 8 minus um, 48 plus 32 and that's going to give us minus 24 so then that's going to be minus I mean 4m minus 24 is equal to 0 m is equal to 24 divided by 4 that means m is going to be equal to 6 first part of the question is done two marks now for the second part and you got a in the second part so we have to show all your working and uh, you need to find the three roots of the equation of the equation pz is equal to 0 now what is pz is equal to 0 so basically we need to solve the f the equation the equation is uh, z cube all right plus m z square that is 6 z square plus 24 z plus 32 is equal to 0 we know there is a factor here z plus 2 is a factor the root is minus 2 therefore what we can do is we can perform a long division and to do that so we're going to uh, just do it here z to the cube plus 6z square plus 24z plus 32 you're going to divide by the um, factor which is z plus 2 so we have z plus 2 alright z to the cube divided by z is going to give you z to the square alright and z square times z is z cube z squared times 2 is plus 2z to the square subtract and you get this one cancels out 6z minus 2z squared is 4z squared plus 24z plus 32 4z squared divided by z is going to give you 4z isn't it yeah so 4z times z is 4z squared 4z times 2 is um, plus 8z okay and then you do the subtraction so this one cancels out this minus this is going to be 16z plus 32 and what is 16z divided by z it's going to give you 16 so 16 times z is 16z 16 times 2 is 32 and hence you subtract you're going to get 0 so now from here we got the quotient which is uh, z square plus 4z plus 16 is equal to 0 so we can solve this to find the root uh, I mean the two roots one root is already um, z is equal to minus 2 so how are we going to solve this we're going to solve it by formula so we're going to say z is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the root of um, 4 to the square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 16 divided by 2a 2 times 1 so work that out you're going to get 4 um, plus or minus the square root of if you do all of the all of that on your calculator you're going to end up with the square root of uh, minus 48 okay divided by 2 
and what is the square root of 48 okay so that's going to be z is equal to minus 4 plus or minus maybe I can do minus 1 times um, okay 4 times 12 4 right 48 okay mm. 16 times 3 all right maybe 16 times 3 divided by 2 all right so what that's going to give me minus 4 plus or minus the minus 1 is i okay the root of 16 is 4 so I got 4 and then root of 3 divided by 2 so that's minus 4 plus or minus these roots okay so let's uh, do this now mm. so what do I have minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 4 divided by, divided, by, divided by 2 is 2 therefore I got then I just write it in this way z is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root of 3i okay so the three roots are then I got therefore z is equal to minus 2 that was uh, this one okay so it's equal to minus 2 then z is equal to minus 2 plus 2 root of 3i and z is going to be minus 2 minus 2 uh, root of 3i so here we are for this for the for part a of the second part all right so that's part a of the second part now for the third part I mean for the, for the for second part but B the six roots of the equation PZ square so this is a bit hectic mm. so how uh, I mean I feel more challenged here right so how are we going to do that first of all um, what I want you to realize this can be given in the form of a plus bi all right, and we, if you want to find the square root of a plus bi, b, bi, you're going to square it, and then you're going to say that is going to be equal to the answer that we obtained. So the answer was any of those, but we're not going to take minus 2 anyway. So let's take one of those ones. Maybe I can take um, minus 2, okay, minus 2 root of 3i. Okay, I mean, you can take that as well. Whichever you take, you're still going to end up with a couple of roots out there. All right, so square that, and you're going to get, this is basic quadratic expansion, a square plus 2abi plus i to the square is equal to minus 2 minus 2 root of 3i. Okay, so I got then a, um, all right, so, uh, well, well, sorry about that, i to the square, b to the square also, b squared, all right, so plus 2abi and I've got b square, I mean plus b square, and then i square is minus 1, isn't it? So minus 2, minus 2 root of 3i. From there, a square, all right, b square times minus 1 is minus b square plus 2abi is equal to minus 2, minus 2 root of 3i. Now we can start equating the real part and the imaginary part let's equate the equate the real part okay so real part is a square minus b square is equal to minus 2 so a square minus b square is equal to minus 2 and um, yeah so maybe I can call this our first equation then for the imaginary part I got 2 a b i all right is equal to minus 2 root of 3 i okay so I got um, equating the imaginary parts imaginary parts I got um, 2 a b i is equal to minus 2 root of 3 i that can be simplified further and I can cut off these ones so I'm going to end up with um, 
Now remember, we could have taken this one as well. So maybe I'm, I'm going to put a plus or a minus here, plus or minus. All right, and this, so the I goes out and the 2 goes out. I've got AB is equal to plus or minus root of 3. Right, so this is my second equation from there. Now, what are we going to do from this point? We're going to substitute any of those maybe the second equation into the first equation. So I'm going to substitute uh, equation 2 in equation 1. Okay, what is equation 2? We've got AB is equal to plus or minus root of B. <clears throat> Alright, so plus or minus root, so root of 3. Therefore, maybe I can say A is equal to, if I want to make A the subject formula, it's up to you. You can make B the subject formula if you wish. So I'm going to divide this by B. This is A and it can be substituted in equation 1. Okay, so what is equation 1? We have a squared minus b squared is equal to minus 2. So a squared minus b squared is equal to minus 2. And in that case, I'm going to say, what is a squared? It is minus, maybe I'm going to take the minus 3 over b and all of that to the square is equal to minus 2. So you simplify that further, you're going to end up with 3 over b square is equal to um, what, 3 over b square minus the b square. All right, oh, sorry about that. I went a bit too fast here. Okay, I cross this out nicely. I'm going to a square minus b square is equal to minus 2. Cross this out. So then, what is a square? Is minus root of 3 over b to the square minus b square is equal to minus 2. Okay, and uh, from here it's going to become 3 over b square minus b square is equal to minus 2. And um, so that's b, 3 minus b square times b square is b to the power of 4 minus 2 times b square is b square. Alright, we can rearrange that as b, b to the power of 4 minus 2b square um, minus 3 is equal to 0. So what I got here is uh, maybe I can say um, b to the square to the square minus 2b square minus 3 is equal to 0. And if I say let um, b square is equal to say x, all right? to make it simpler. So I'm going to get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and if you solve that you're going to end up with x minus 3 minus 1 and uh, this is going to be plus 1 because minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Okay so that's going to give me then x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 3. Now this is the big deal b squares go to x so here so b squares go to minus 1 and therefore b is going to be the square root of minus 1 is i okay and i have uh, b square is equal to 3 um, but yeah so b is going to be then uh, plus or minus root of 3 okay so this is b and this is b now where can we go from here so maybe if I um, if I start uh, replacing, okay, I'm going to say um, when b is equal to let's say when b is equal. Let me just get on the new page here. So when b is equal to i, okay, what is going to happen? A is going to be plus or minus root of three over b, as we found earlier. Therefore, a is going to be plus or minus root of 3 over b, and b is i. Good. So, we can probably multiply by i and i again. Let's conjugate, all right? If this is i, so maybe I can do it like this. I can say uh, minus i if I wish. All right. And uh, from here, I've got a is equal to minus i times this is going to be plus or minus um, root of 3i, root of 
root of 3i divided by uh, minus i to the square. And what is i square? i square is minus 1. So I've got plus or minus the root of 3i over minus 1. So that can be eliminated. I get plus or minus the root of um, 3i. So this is a. Now, therefore, I got two values of e here. Okay. And what can I do with uh, when b is equal to? plus or minus root of 3, as we found earlier on. So when b is equal to root of 3, and when b is equal to minus, or when b is equal to root of 3, or when b is equal to minus root of 3. What's going to happen again? So we know that a is equal to root of 3 over b. So that's going to be plus or minus root of 3 over b, and b is root of 3. And that can be plus or minus, okay? So, whichever the case, so A is going to end up as 1, right? Now, since we said earlier that it is in the form of A plus BI, that's the root, isn't it? So, therefore, we can say 1, all right, plus or minus the root of 3I. I think that's going to be about it, all right? Six marks, uh, it's quite lengthy, but I'm, I'm very confident that this is... This is a good question, okay. So here we are. And this question is uh, taken from October 2010, Advanced Level Maths, HSC, Paper 3.